1853. You're off by a little over 200 years. A little over 300 years. Sorry, my mathematics is bad. 1565. I'll give you credit. You are within two years. Very good. Why do you guys keep touching the screen? All right. All right. The book is now open. Ship that we had for Vince was a rare beauty and as faithful a mistress as any man ever. No, get it. Alas, Keith, don't be shy, you lily livered land lovers. I've been a waiting for you. Step lively now and let me bend your ear about the true story of one Edward Teach, also known as Blackbeard. You best be moving on. I had more than me fill of you. And this was so fierce and most. Let me bend your ear about the true story of one who wanted to talk about this. The life of a pirate was never as bold. All right, join me down here. I'll tell you a wee bit of a romantic story. He went to see his wife in Newport, Rhode Island. He took that treasure chest with him and gave it to her, filled with treasure. He also had a daughter. Now, he told his wife that he had one more trip to make, and he promised it would be his last trip. And he headed off to the Indian Ocean for more pillaging and plundering but he did not return home. In 1695, he took that cannonball to the gut, as I told you, on the gun down, and never returned home. But his wife kept that treasure chest, and for 300 plus years, it's been handed down from generation to generation of the two family, until it came to rest right here. There are no other treasure chests that we know of that have any documentation proven that they were owned or used by a pirate.